so we started with the discussion of pressure exerted by solids and then we were able to derive a uh, relationship for finding the pressure exerted by liquids which was p is equal to h rho g and that is applicable for air, uh, i mean gases also now we come to the fact about atmospheric pressure now see we all know that earth is surrounded by blanket of air which is known as atmosphere now this atmosphere is comprising of air so air has weight and since it has weight it will be exerting a thrust that thrust on an unit area gives us the pressure so we say that atmosphere exerts pressure which is known as atmospheric pressure and we can define it as the thrust exerted per unit surface area of the earth due to the weight of air column above it now the si unit remains the same pascal common units are bar and torr one bar is equal to 10 to the power of 5 pascal whereas one torr is equal to 133.5 pascal now children there is the value of atmospheric pressure is quite large it is approximately this much and this much pressure is acting on us but do we feel the atmospheric pressure definitely not and the only reason for not feeling the atmospheric pressure is because of a blood pressure because the pressure exerted by our blood balances the outside atmospheric pressure then we come to what are the consequences of this atmospheric pressure before we do that there is one thing which you need to remember that a movement will always take place from high pressure to low pressure anything will move from high pressure to low pressure so over here i have first given you an example over here you can see a straw and this is a straw which you use for drinking the cold drinks now does the cold drink come into the straw on its own never you have to suck air through this when you suck through air through this what happens inside the pressure becomes less because the air has been sucked in over here what will you have you will have atmospheric pressure acting over here and since there is atmospheric pressure acting over here then this is a region of high pressure atmospheric pressure is acting over here and inside the pressure will be low very very less so the movement takes place from high pressure to low pressure that's how the drink rises similarly when you talk of filling ink into your pens or filling water into the pichkaris or filling medicines into the injection bottles all of them the same application is involved like when you push in the piston of a pichkari or a fountain pen or an injection syringe you remove the air and when you insert it inside the medicine or the water or the ink whatever you are doing then this on the surface there will be high pressure like over here and when you move that piston out there will be a low pressure created and the movement will take place the ink will enter the pen the medicine will enter the syringe and the water will enter your pichkaris so these you can understand that how important it is to have uh, atmospheric pressure over um, uh, i mean how important atmospheric pressure becomes when it comes to these kinds of activities now when you want to measure atmospheric pressure then we have three kinds of instruments so the three devices that we use for the measurement of atmospheric pressure are simple barometer fortel's barometer and aneroid barometer simple barometer is uh, a first attempt to measure atmospheric pressure the liquid that we use in it is mercury and uh, you must have recalled that 76 centimeter of mercury column balances the atmospheric pressure 
so we say atmospheric pressure is equal to 76 cm of mercury column and this obviously is at sea level since there are certain drawbacks in the simple barometer so the barometer was modified to have a fortins barometer now this fortins barometer is simply um, overcoming certain defects of simple barometer it also makes use of mercury only and the third barometer that we have is an aneroid barometer this is one which happens to be very light and is portable this has no liquid the most important thing about this barometer is that there is no liquid in it that is why it happens to be very light and portable now children with this we'll end our today's class and next time we will continue with the revision of this chapter